I don't even watch So if you're wondering what we're doing, we're actually doing food prep for the birds well, in hospital. Well. We actually freeze well, a chop mix. We've never well. made a chop mix. You can yeah. have a look at what's in so oh, far. Yeah. We're adding well, different you. types of capsicum, well, carrot, spinach, yeah. kale, turnips. I think we even have some zucchinis in here. There's different sprouts. We've got the Calypso's Chop Boosters that we add from the clinic. Rolled oats, all bran, whole millet. We've got quinoa that we've got cooking in the microwave at the moment. There's brown rice we're also cooking in the microwave and we'll end up with this really nice looking chop mix which will be quite fine in the end. We freeze it in portions. And you imagine how healthy this is for people. Up to three months. Is it human consumption great? Mm -hmm. And we defrost as we need, so we freeze it in ice cube trays. And this is what we feed our birds at home as well. So back side of what you don't see in the clinic. It's so healthy and delicious. Mm, yeah. Even the stems of the kale are useful, and birds will eat that as well. And it's the whole capsicum, including the seeds, as you can see here. Sprouting mix. We'll wash that first, chuck it in. But the finer the pieces, the less chance your bird is actually going to just chuck it at the floor. Our messiest chef. Yeah. What did you just say? I like to be a messy one. <laughs> I can burn from this now. But this is what it looks like when we're done. So we'll have a list of the ingredients in the description of the video, but the birds are going to love this. So we are then freeze it into ice cube trays, cover it with alfoil so we don't get freezer burn, and then we transfer the frozen cubes into sandwich bags in the freezer. It keeps for up to three months, and that way we have it in portions for hospital patients when we need it. Fighting over the vegetables. Oh, okay.